Well, there you go. There. Kurt like that. Bush. And that's a, I think that's a brand new car I heard him say that uh, they had high hopes for. Was. Oh, see, he just gets up too high. See all that dust and dirt? I'm going to tell you what, Daryl. He's about as lucky as you can yes. be that that thing did not hook. Watch it when it goes right here that it didn't hook right there and get into the fence. That's the good side. The other side of Tony Stewart's car, not so good. Pancaked. And it, that's what I love about this joint. Yeah, you can see he just got up there and stayed. There's Jeremy Mayfield's car, all scun up. Keep a list, Larry. One driver said it's a track that requires the driver to push hard, but this old lady will penalize you if you push too hard. Uh-oh. Rut row. Ah, the safer barrier collects another one. Down in turn one, it is Scott Speed. Said he got loose on entry. Banged the wall in one, and then smote it a mighty lick in turn two. Don't even think they have to evaluate that one. You see no. the backup car already being unloaded. Turn two, one car around. Didn't catch the wall, but spun right down to the apron, and Dave Blaney making his first practice laps of the day. Spins out in turn two. I, I reckon we know why he had this, hadn't been uh -oh. out yet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. David Ruderman. And he was right up there, too. Yikes. Got up too high, and you see all that dust flying up, and when you get that on those hot tires, you lose all control of the car. It's just, that, it's just yep. what I was talking about, though. You get into turn one a little hard, and the car starts up the track. When you put wheel into it, it get a little loose. Here you hit the wall. He explains it pretty well in his radio transmission we had there. He just got up high in the middle of three and four. And it's up there in the dust. Slaps it. And there is the lady in black. That's how she got her name. Those walls started out white. They don't end up that way as 10 cars found the fence.